Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we will try to understand the root cause of the current problems in the Middle East. Today we are going to deep dive into the complex rep of the current wars in the Middle East and their profound connections to the partition of the Ottoman Empire by the British and the French. It's a historical journey that unveils the origin of many of the today's conflict in the region. To fully comprehend the roots of the ongoing conflict in the Middle East, we must first grasp the vastness and diversity of the Ottoman Empire and the consequences of its division. The Ottoman Empire, founded in the 13th century, rose to become one of the world's most formidable empires, stretching across three continents and embracing a rich tapestry of diverse ethnic and religious groups. The Ottomans left an indelible mark on the history through their cultural achievements, architectural marvels and military might. However, by the late 19th century, the empire was grappling with challenges of a rapidly changing world. The 19th century witnessed the empire's decline due to a series of military losses, economic crisis and internal unrest. It was a no shadow of, of its former self. Meanwhile, European colonial powers began encroaching on Ottoman Empire territories, competing for influence and control. The empire stood at crossroads. World War I was the catalyst of eventual partition of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans joined the war on the side of the central powers, which included Germany, and Germany Austria, Austria and Hungary. In the midst of the war chaos, secret negotiations resulted in the Skies Picot Agreement. It's a very important agreement in the history. It was a plan to divide Ottoman territories into the British and French sphere of influences, effectively marking the end of Ottoman rule in significant portions of the Middle East. The aftermath of the World War I saw disintegration of the Ottoman Empire and birth of new states including Turkey, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan and Palestine. These newly created nations faced numerous challenges including nationalist movement, diverse ethnic composition and religious tension. The partition of the Ottoman Empire's legacy is still very much alive in today's Middle East. The region continues to grapple with the consequences of colonialism, sectarian divide and geopolitical rivals. From the Arab-Israel conflict to the Kurdish quest for autonomy, the Middle East remains a focal point of global politics and ongoing conflicts. Now, let's connect the dots between the partition of the Ottoman Empire and the current wars in the Middle East. The arbitrary borders drawn up by the Skies and Picot Agreement paid a little heed to the region's intricate ethnic and religious makeup. These artificial boundaries have had profound impact on the Middle East modern conflicts. The lack of concentration for the wishes and identities of local populations, the division of people and the establishment of nation states led to a significant turmoil. These divisions have fueled a wide range of issues from ethnic and religious tension to geopolitical struggles. The legacy of colonialism continues to shape the region, region's political landscape. In summary. Partition of Ottoman Empire by the British and the French has left a profound and lasting impact on the Middle East. It's crucial to understand the historical context to appreciate the complexities in the region's ongoing conflicts. Thank you for taking out time to understand uh, the entire conflict of today's Middle East and its relation to the uh, historical uh, uh, agreements that happened after the breakup of Ottoman Empire.